It's Friday. Time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Thank you for stopping by Dude RV. I really appreciate it. This Friday's Find has a theme, and that theme is driving safely. We're going to take a look at the rear view camera setup that I have in place on uh, with the when I'm flat towing my truck. We'll get a, give a, sh a special shout out to you. Halo View. We're giving a special shout out to Halo View. Thank you for sending that camera set up for us to examine and, and check out. And when, I'm, when you're driving down the road, the last thing you need to be doing is holding the phone up to your head when you're, when you're talking to your significant other or anybody else for that matter. And so when Levin reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested? I said, heck yeah. Let's take a look at what they've provided us with. Levin, they, they're an Amazon vendor, an Amazon store. They have sent us a Bluetooth noise canceling headset. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It actually uses AI noise cancellation. According to the reviews, it works really well. And it's it's got a, a pretty extensive book telling you how to operate it, but you know it's it's pretty simple stuff. Boom mic. This this is going to be kind of weird for me, uh, mostly because I wear hearing aids, and I'm used to having my phone in both ears, and so having this this is going back old school for me, where it's just just one. <laughs> I guess I'll adapt. Mostly I'm interested in this more for Yappy than, than for me because she does virtual work and often needs to communicate talk. And, and here in, in the past, we've had to be stationary because there's so much background noise in the RV. So I'm excited to try this and see how well it works. And, and if, it, if it works as advertised, then she'll actually be able to, to do her work while I drive the coach going to the next campground so i need to get on the road and put this to the test i'll be back and we'll continue our safe driving friday's fines if you've been following the channel for any length of time you know i'm a big big fan of the halo view line of cameras i use i have a halo view camera mounted on the back of the pickup white lightning and the monitor, it's a wireless camera, and it connects to the monitor in the cab of the motorhome. I have a rear view camera on the motorhome, but the monitor uh, has so much glare on it that half the time it's not usable when we're running down the highway. And so I use the Halo View camera to be able to see what's behind me. And if, if I'm passing a truck or a car or something, that camera is critical. It lets me know when it's safe. I've had a, a, I had a question for Halo View about adding a camera to the front of my cap, to the front of the RV up high so that I can tell when I'm going to impact branches and things because that's that's the one place that i can't really see anywhere when i'm driving and i got the idea well if i can have a camera on the back of my truck i wonder if i can put a wireless camera on top of the rv so that i can see what's at that level and avoid tree branches and things of that nature so Halo View said, oh, hey, let's, we've got some new equipment. Let's just send you a whole new setup. So that's what we have here. So we're going to do an unbox. 
and see what we've got going on. Upgrade the camera currently in place. And I'm gonna open that today. So I'm gonna install that. I, I gotta make a trip down to Houston. Yes, I know, I gotta go back down there. I won't go into a rant about RV repairs. have the monitor I love the halo view monitor this thing is awesome cabling this camera will actually it's it's intended to go on the back of a fifth wheel trailer or a big 18 wheeler so there's our camera And this little bad boy right here is the transmitter that transmits that signal. This has the best, best picture. Lots of mounting hardware. Splitters. Cable ties. The sun shield for the camera. I mean, for the monitor. Snaps on there. The glare reducer. And then we have antennas. All right. Let me get the the equipment in place and I'll walk you through how the halo view is installed on the pickup and how the monitor is installed on in the RV. So these are the primary components. Now I already have the cabling in place. We have the camera, the transmitter. This is the Y that connects the antenna cable and the power supply to the transmitter. And then we have the monitor. The monitor actually comes with an on off switch 12 volt plug. And that is your uh, power supply for the transmitter. So let me show you how I have that set up. Of course we've got the camera and the camera wire comes in and I have it that so that I can take that off if I go to the car wash and then I've installed a 12 volt power point at the back of the bed actually I have I have a three-way that's direct to the battery and then I have a single and that's on the ignition so I can take the monitor and put it on the dash of the truck and use it as a rear view camera. So the wiring all runs to the front. Uh, this actually goes all the way back to that 12 volt power point so that I can turn it on and off. So there's our splitter. And then the transmitter is tucked in behind the shroud so that I can close the the hood without any issues and here in the cab of the coach of the RV the motor home I have my power point now I actually really like that switched 12 volt power point that allows me to turn that on and off without unplugging it and I really like the functionality we can put lines, backup lines on here. 
we can actually install multiple monitors and since there's only the one right now that's all we get we can pair to another monitor which is what i'm going to do with the overhead i also can record if we if i pop in a micro sd card this will go into record mode so there's always a record loop in the event that you need that for insurance purposes let's go up and unbox the the next camera project a little breezy This is also a wireless camera. So now I just have to figure out how to get it up there, how to mount it. So let me let me work on that. I have finalized the Halo View the current halo view setup on the coach so we you saw the the truck install which was really simple now i have the second camera looking forward from up top that is a, a real simple installation there's the split screen so let's tab through here Number one, looking behind, that's my neighbor's truck. And then number two, we're looking forward. Man, that's, that's going to be a great picture. Look how it, it's not nearly as clear for you as it is for me because you're on a camera recording a camera screen. So the, the camera on the roof is secured with bolts to a piece of metal. This is sheet metal. It's actually a, a sign rider, a real estate sign rider. I was kind of thinking I was going to have to tap into the light harness to power it, but wouldn't you know the the wine guard that has 12 volt power? So as you can see, I point you right at it. So I view. There you go. So I used Gorilla waterproof tape. To hold that in place that stuff is is <laughs> it sticks like sticks like glue actually it sticks better than eterna bond tape so it, it, it will not come off unless i maybe i hit a branch or something but that's why i put that up there so tomorrow i'll be rolling down the highway and we'll actually get a look at how well this system works we can go through you can actually pair four cameras you get a split view of course the split view looks kind of funny but it serves the purpose i can see behind me and i can see what's above me that's valuable stuff right there no lost air conditioners for dude rv all right so we'll cut back in tomorrow when we're driving down the highway so here's the halo view from the driver's seat compared to the camera that came as standard equipment on the motorhome from my perspective the onboard coach camera is, is very washed out due to the glare whereas the halo view that that screen is just crystal clear sharp and you can tell that there's very little if any delay in the signal
love that Halo View camera system. facing camera that I've mounted up on top of the cap and why I wanted to put that camera up there I've got a lot of low hanging branches right through here and occasionally I don't know if I'm going to make if I'm going to clear those low hanging branches that gives you a perspective of what the camera's seeing. I really like having it mounted up there. Uh, I've been to two different campgrounds. I've been to two different campgrounds since I mounted that. And in both cases, having the camera uh, up there allowed me to see my clearance with the tree branches. Man, we love this headset. I've made a trip to Houston and back and had multiple conversations with the wife on the phone and she said the sound is crystal clear. Now, working on figuring out how to get a recording of me talking on this on her phone, from her phone. Hopefully I'll have that today. Okay. But I'm driving, I'm so I have to be the shot frame. That's the important That's part. That's what it is. Yep. Dude, you sound great. All right. So we're getting on some speed now. We're going to get up to about 40, 45 miles an hour. And in the, my background, I hear lots of just Thank that you. audio you get from the motor home when we're driving. We're not hearing anything. So it's just me talking? Yes, it's very- Does it have a, a tinny sound to it? No. You know, a lot, of, a lot of those sound dampening programs leave it sounding kind of flat and tinny. No, it's really clear. Very, very clear. That's awesome. We yeah. like clear I, audio. I know we- it's a, Go ahead. I know we tested it. Uh, before we did this, tried to figure out how to make this work. It was so clear when you were on uh, on the way down to the land. I, I couldn't believe how clear it was. <laughs> it's surprisingly comfortable to wear. As you know, I'm I'm accustomed to having my phone audio in, in both ears because of my hearing aids. Uh, so it, it it took me a little bit to become a, accustomed to the one side. But it's, it's very comfortable. The battery is, I haven't charged this thing in a week. Wow. So the battery life is phenomenal. You don't hear any of that rattling in the background? None. Zero. <laughs> Zip. That's, a, that's awesome. That means you'll be able to work virtual while I'm driving. Yep. No, I'm very impressed on how clear it is. I hear nothing. I feel like you're just in a room somewhere. It's so clear. That's, that's just amazing because on my end, it's just got that, you know, that hollow RV rolling down a road sound. Right. No, not at all. Not on this. And occasionally I get the coffee cups tinkling in the cabinet back there and the door is rattling. And then I have you on speaker too, and usually that's not as good as it is today. Right. All right, well, I think we've got enough footage to yeah. show the the quality of this Levin head, headset. I think we well, do too. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, it's a winner for me. I am a full supporter of this. Because awesome. I'm going to listen to you. <laughs> All right, well, we'll close out later. We've come to the end of our Driving Safely Friday's Finds edition. With the Halo View camera system, 
love it uh i just and i really love having that upper that that high elevation angle now i could also foresee some possible creative content coming from that camera but I'm, I'm, i love having this on the back of my f-150 as i'm towing it makes a world of difference especially if you're in heavy traffic in the 11 headset this thing is incredible incredible at filtering out all of that background noise and this is going to come in handy for us on our next journey when yappy has to do some work while we're driving down the highway i encourage you to check both of these items out they are available on amazon and i'll include a link in the description below as well as in the card above that link will take you to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation amazon storefront if you enjoy this kind of content i try to do it every friday i try to do a, a friday's finds episode every week if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you that, that's why i get to do what i do oh that's not any better i really appreciate you and for my patrons i am most grateful you rock all right, y'all come back now, you hear?